Hi Virgo, welcome to your October reading. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for being with me here today. I really, really appreciate you. Before we get into your reading, I did just want to talk about the energy that I was picking up on as I was meditating and just kind of getting into your zone. And so the it was, not gonna lie, it was quiet at first. It was really quiet at first. Nothing was really coming in. I wasn't really receiving any messages or downloads or images. Nothing really was coming through. And I was like, okay, Virgo's was kind of quiet. And so... I really just like took my time with it. I almost, <laughs> I almost, I was getting to the verge where I was almost falling asleep. It was crazy. But then finally I started to get this image. At first I got this image of like a trash can or a trash bin that was like knocked over and there was like a bunch of trash on the ground. And then the image got more clear and I was like, oh, like raccoon scavenging in trash. Like, and so actually here i have the raccoon card out here i wanted to just bring it out um the raccoons are they're very intelligent animals they work with their hands they they adjust well to change and they are extremely adaptable i think i already said that yeah adaptable works well with change okay but the raccoon can definitely represent more of like a trickstery kind of energy it can represent deception it can represent someone who's wearing a mask and it can even be a bit of a desperate energy so that might be something that applies to you or maybe there's someone around you who this energy kind of like represents here now something that you should ask yourself is like what mask do you wear and why is it healthy for you because you know less life we live there's a lot more than just what's on the surface and some of you i was picking up on an energy where some of you feel out of place or you feel like you can't necessarily be yourself a hundred percent or you feel like you have to wear a mask or put on some kind of facade or like you know to fit in to belong another message i was kind of picking up with this energy is like creatives block or just kind of getting in your own way because a raccoon can be a very creative artistic energy especially in the arts and music and and you know that kind of stuff so some of you have been experiencing creatives block or you've been just feeling really stuck or blocked in a way and um it's almost like you're desperate to get back that enthusiasm and that excitement and that passion but you don't really know how or where to begin um and maybe even like the the symbolism of like this the ra raccoon scavenging through the trash is like is this like in relation to something from your past or like you know trash aka leftovers um leftovers of the past it's almost like you could be looking back at something that you've recently gone through or something from your past and like trying to trying to find new information from something that's already happened and you've already gone through it and looked at it and felt it a million times or it's like you've been in a situation many many times and you're hoping this time things are different or this time you're going to discover new information when you've already gone through all the facts all the receipts all the information that that's available but you're hoping that maybe there's something that you missed or something that you didn't quite get um so maybe you're deceiving yourself hmm We'll see how this ties in with the reading. Let's pull some tarot cards. Let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. For Virgo, in the month of October 2022, what's going on for Virgo, Sun, Rising, Venus in October? Show me clearly. Any messages for Virgo, Sun, Rising, Venus in October 2022? What do my Virgos need to know? Any messages for Virgo? We have the Fool Reverse coming out. Messages for Virgo, summarizing Venus in October 2022. We also have the Magician. Okay, whoa. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Father of Swords. Five of Wands, Ace of Wands, Eight of Swords, and the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, and Ten of Wands, and the Tower. Okay. Those are extra cards, so I'm not going to take them. We have a lot of Aces coming through. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. So that is really the energy of the Magician, right? 
being able to manifest opportunities coming to you, being able to bring in what it is that you want, what it is that you desire. Some of you are wanting a new job. Some of you are wanting a relationship. Some of you are wanting um, passions and creative endeavors and personal goals. Like There's a lot of new energy that you want to chase and go after and but it's it's almost like you're lacking the confidence or you're lacking the the support around you or maybe there's just like the lack of opportunity for some but the full reverse but i feel like you could be holding yourself back or it goes back to that block that you could be experiencing or maybe it's the mask that you've been experiencing or you, you're deceiving yourself or you're saying that it's not possible or you're not believing that it's possible uh, or you're not quite clear with what it is that you want here. Five of Wands and even the Eight of Swords, feeling like it's impossible, feeling like you're not ready. Sorry, give me a second. Feeling like it's impossible, feeling it's not like you're not ready, feeling like, um, like really just holding yourself back from spreading your wings and flying and taking the jump and taking the risk. There's been some sort of hesitation that's been, you're, you're hesitating for some reason and it just i feel like you have a bit of this monkey mind or <laughs> like you're feeling a little bit of a scattered brain or just like um you're not quite clear with what it is that you're wanting to bring in and even if you do bring in new opportunities then when it comes in ace of wands ace of cups ace of pentacles that's where you backtrack you're like actually i don't know if i want this anymore now that it's here i don't know if i actually want it mm, maybe not no nah, okay right it's like you wanted it and then now now the opportunity comes knocking and you're just like mm, no i'm not gonna take the risk that's not exactly what i wanted or it's not in my right it's not the right color it's not the right shape the right size so no i'm good i'm gonna shut it down like i'm kind of virgo with peace and love i am getting a little bit of a fussy energy from you you're showing up here as the king of swords it's like you want things a specific, particular, exact way, and if it's not exact, then you don't want it. It's, it definitely feels like it's tying into some sort of control management type of thing, or like you like to have things, like you like to have your ducks in a row in a specific way, in a specific placement. <laughs> Maybe you, I, I ain't no doctor, of course, and if you got a little OCD type shit, I don't fucking know. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, but yeah, this King of Swords is like, you seem very, very serious, and I, I also gotta say, you feel a little bit difficult to please. A little bit difficult to please. Alright, so, that's just the vibe I feel from this. If the shoe fits, the shoe fits. If it don't, then don't force it, okay? Because then that shoe will give you blisters. But, um yeah it's like you know you have you're like i want a job i want a new job here's a new job offering oh uh, well it's it's this is not right or i don't like that person there or uh, it's, it's this is it's too far or maybe, maybe they don't pay enough or oh i have to do this kind of work i don't really want to do that like okay so then you shut it down okay well i want i want romance i really wanting some romance in my life i'm really wanting to have a special somebody that i can connect with all right here you go virgo here's a new love oh well they're they're too short they're not my type they don't have this kind of car or they they still live with their mom or i don't, <laughs> I don't fucking know but like you're you're making excuses as to why it's not for you like there's opportunities that come in seeds that you can plant in your beautiful garden and you're like oh well no it's not the exact thing that i want so and like hey you know what be choosy be picky don't settle for less but some of you are just like completely like you want something but then when the opportunity comes you just shut it down you're just like no nope hmm so are you gonna stay like that it's kind of like again it's like you're you're scavenging through the trash hoping like no how hold on what am i saying here hold on let me figure this out for a second yeah, it's kind of like you could be scavenging through the trash, going through the leftovers, going through remains, and someone's trying to offer you a, a clean plate of fresh food, like gourmet type of meal, and you're like, oh no, I don't want that. I'm going to go back to my trash and scavenge that. It's like, oh, is that it? Is that it? Is that because you're rejecting all these new opportunities because there's something from your past that you are still waiting on or hoping that will make an appearance or come back around is that it 
I mean, the cards aren't necessarily telling me that. I'm kind of just trying to connect the dots here because the cards are telling me you got the opportunities, but you're rejecting it or you're in your head overthinking it, overanalyzing it, shutting yourself down, doubting it, feeling like it's too good to be true or just like, you know, not fully allowing yourself to just give it a chance for whatever reason. And maybe maybe the underlying reason is because there's actually something from your past that's that needs to be dealt with or cleared up or it's because you're waiting on something from your past. Like the, that's the vibe I feel from this. It's like, yeah, someone's trying to offer you this gourmet meal, freshly made, fresh out of the oven. And you're like, nah, I'll stick to my trash. Thank you very much. Like, <laughs> Virgo, what are you doing, man? It feels like it's like you're creating these own blocks. It feels like it's internal. It feels like you're blocking yourself from the blessings that are trying to come in. So let's 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 get you out of this funk. Okay, you're in a bit of a funk. That's all right. It happens to us all. It happens to us all um but let's let's get you out of this funk all right because you're getting in your way you're over analyzing and it's taken away from your enjoyment it's taken away from the flow of life and uh yeah like this needs to change and i think you know that deep down it needs to change and also like what you're focusing on you do bring more of in so just remember that all right, Virgo, let's do some clarifying here. Let's take a look at the Fool reverse. Why is the Fool here reversed? It's like you're not willing to take the jump. You're not willing to spread your wings. Similar to that Eight of Swords, you're not, you have the ability here to take the risk, to take the leap, to, to try things out, to give it a chance, right? If you don't like it, whether it's a new job, you start a new job, you don't like it, guess what? You can quit. Oh, you, you have this new relationship, you go on a date, maybe they're not like your type. You give them a chance. I mean, trust your intuition. If they're slimy, then yeah, like <laughs> obviously, no, don't force that shit. But like, if you're just like, oh, well, they're not my exact type or whatever, like, I normally wouldn't go for that type of individual. And you just shut down every single option that comes in, but then you complain that you're single. It's like, well, you know, you're the one closing yourself down. So if you're not willing to take the leap or jump out of your comfort so nothing's gonna change and you may not like that message you might be like man fuck you dislike i don't really care <laughs> i don't care uh but yeah it just feels like you're kind of getting in your own way virgo it feels like um and then he's just creating this frustrated energy within you and just feeling like why can't anything good happen or whatever but it kind of feels like you're getting in your own way and you need to get out of the way you're, you're deceiving yourself. Take off that mask, bro. Time of the fool reversed. Okay, whoa. Whoa. All right, we got the six of wands, knight of swords, the star, and what else? Queen of wands here. Eight of wands, five of cups, knight of pentacles. The bottom. So here's the thing, like... Maybe the fool's talking about delays as well, or like delayed opportunities. Because I, th this is different energy. Like this talks about movement. This talks about wish fulfillment. You being like, oh, that's like what you're blocking yourself from. Okay, ha <laughs> ha, that makes sense, right? This is what you're blocking yourself from. So here you go here with the six of wands center of attention taking center stage lots of eyes on you you could be gaining a lot more attention lately especially if this is in the realm of love romance dating you might be out mingling a lot more right or if you were to take basically it's like if you were to take this risk or take this leap and push through these fears and these scattered beliefs you would end up so surprised with the type of feedback that you'd be getting some of you are holding yourself back from like promoting your pr promoting your work or putting yourself out there or being seen by the public eye because you're afraid that people are going to be rejecting you or you're afraid that you're going to be out of place or you f you feel like um you have to hide or wear a mask kind of going back to that energy of the raccoon that we're talking about it's like this is what you're holding yourself back from you're holding yourself back from ma massive success massive recognition and acknowledgement and achievement and ce oh, celebration i gotta fill this fucking thing up hold on <laughs> interruptions y'all i'm so sorry but like it's this is what you're holding yourself back from you're holding yourself back from wish fulfillment from passion from feeling the sense of purpose in your life from feeling fulfilled and empowered and excited you this is what you're holding yourself back from knight of swords positive change change in the direction that you want 
Eight of Wands at the bottom. Movement from what? From what you may ask? From the pain, from the heartache, from the, the stressful emotional times, right? Knight of Pentacles slowly but surely moving forward at a nice, slow, steady pace. Not rushing into anything, but taking it and planning ahead accordingly. This is what you're you're holding yourself back from. For some reason, you're holding yourself back from some really amazing shit. Like, you gotta move out of the way. You gotta move out of the way. What are you afraid of? What are you stressed out? What's, what's on your mind here? Let's take a look into this energy. Because the full reverse, this is talking about delays. You're delaying your own progress. You're delaying your own movement. You're, del you're getting in your own way. You're getting in your own path. It's like you're just throwing um, blocks in your path that don't need to be there. So in a way, it's like self-sabotage, right? So... Five of Wands and the Eight of Swords. So this is this is your own inner battle that you're going through. <sighs> own inner conflict, feeling like maybe you're not worthy, feeling like you're not it's not you're not good enough, or some shit like that. Tell me about the five of wands and the eight of swords for Virgo. What is going on here? Why is Virgo doing this? How can Virgo get out of this energy, please? All right, five of wands and the eight of swords for Virgo. We have the queen of pentacles reversed because you're not rooted, you're not grounded, and you're maybe lacking self-care, neglecting your self-care, maybe and you're investing in every single but every single body else, everything else but yourself. So you need to invest in your roots. You got to take care of yourself. You got to nourish yourself first. You're the first priority. The rest can overflow. And I feel like you've been focusing on filling everybody else's cup but your own. So that needs to change. Five of Wands, Eight of Swords for Virgo. What's this about? For Virgo in October. What's this? Eight of Wands. With the Ace of Cups. So see, double confirmation here. Um, eight of Wands. Oh, sorry. Eight of Swords and the Five of Wands for Virgo. What is Virgo afraid of or scared about four of swords coming out feeling like you're not ready two of pentacles wishy-washiness in indecisiveness and the chariot yeah it's like you keep going back and forth virgo there's this wishy-washy mind of yours right now and like peace and love again i'm not oh my god i don't want to like offend anybody but like a lot of virgos that i know i knew a lot of y'all i gotta be real with you okay like heart to heart and like hey i don't i don't know if it's just like <laughs> okay whatever shut up <laughs> so shut up <laughs> just shut up but like i don't know if it's a virgo thing but some of y'all be wishy-washy as fuck okay and I mean that with love. I mean that with love. I, I'm not. I'm not here to judge you because hey, I can be wishy washy as fuck too. But like, yeah, it's 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 this the energy from you, Virgo. Two of Pentacles, and then the four. It's like the four of Swords and the two of Pentacles. When an opportunity comes in, you're like, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Right? We have this new love come in. We got this job. We got this passion opportunity connection coming in you're like okay cool i'll think about it i'll think about it and then the more that you think about it the more analytical you become you get more indecisive instead of just acting and just going for it and just saying fuck it let me do this thing let me give this a chance let me just see where it goes you think long and hard about the future and the potential and what could be and what might happen what might not happen you flip over every single rock why because you like to have your ducks in a certain way like you <laughs> you like to have control and that's the emperor not emperor sorry king of swords father of swords he definitely I have things in control and that's kind of the vibe i feel from you it's like you have the opportunity to come in new love new job new opportunity whatever the fuck right whatever it is that you want that come in it comes in and then you are just like cool awesome i'm gonna think about it and then you think about it you think about it you think about it you think about it and you think about it and the more you think about it you just you procrastinate and then before you know it opportunity is off the table or you you reject it before it can even happen or just like it's 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 a self-imposed restriction you're preventing yourself from moving forwards like you're holding yourself back and i think you could even be aware of that you maybe don't know why exactly you do this but it's like yeah it's just something that you keep doing 
<sighs> Damn, Virgo. Damn. And it seems like it's a cycle that's kind of occurring in October. It's like you got some new, you got new shit coming in. You got three aces. You got the magician. Like, yo, Virgo, you could have it all. You could have it all. And then when the opportunity comes in, you're just like, mm, yeah, okay, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll give it a chance. Maybe not. I'll let you know. And then you never get back to it. You never, you never do anything about it because you're just holding yourself back. Why? <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this? Yeah, and then the Ten of Wands, and then you're just like, you, you become burdened by this, and you, you get heavy by this, and you're just like, you're aware. Oh, am I using this deck again? Okay. Um, what should, how can Virgo move past this energy? Let's get some advice. Honestly, we don't need to clarify anything else. Let's just get some advice to kind of help you out. See, like, how can you get out of this energy or out of this cycle? Let's see if uh, Spirit will give you some advice on this. Any advice for Virgo? <laughs> How Virgo can stop self-sabotaging or getting in their own getting in the way of their own blessings? I feel like it just goes down to your own personal beliefs and mindsets, and nothing's gonna change unless you change what's going on within you internally. <sighs> so, all right. Any advice for Virgo? In October 2022. Maybe October 22nd is relevant for someone. I was going to say 22. Any advice for Virgo? Three of Wands reversed. Advice. Um, okay. Expectations. They want to talk about that. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Is my deck upside down? Nope. Messages for Virgo. Or advice for Virgo. Yeah. Advice for Virgo. Wow, all these cards falling out reverse. Three of Pentacles reverse. So I'm kind of getting the energy. It's these expectations that you either put on yourself or on certain people or situations that leave you feeling disappointed. And so like it's like you are putting these unrealistic expectations or you are you're demand you're putting certain demands on what how is this advice <laughs> i'm like trying to read this like how is this advice here ace of swords okay well let's see you're getting you're gonna get clarity and we have tempers at the bottom chariot and the hermit so basically and the four of swords so basically virgo your advice here your advice because right now you're like i don't know why i do this i don't know why i do the things i do <laughs> never will it's like hmm well you never will unless you take a moment to sit and reflect and go inward spirit really wants you to go inwards and really ask yourself why where does this stem from what is it that you're afraid of what is it that you're fearful of are you fearful of disappointment are you fearful of getting hurt again are you fearful of something from your past like repeating itself like you know just being 100 percent raw and honest with yourself why why where does this stem from what is it going what's going on internally that's getting in the way of this because it's it's your own self you're getting in the way virgo you're getting in your own way and so only you like it doesn't matter what kind of cards come out only you know the ultimate truth as to why you're doing this and that's something you got to think about that's something that you got to take some time out to reflect on and do some shadow work on and do some thinking and reflection and healing and the answer really is within you and i feel that once you take the moment to reevaluate to reflect get back your balance that's when you can start to see some positive shifts that's where you can start to see momentum that's where you can start to see movement we have cancerian energy sagittarius energy out here and the ace of swords breakthrough and clarity massive realizations right you see this lightning bolt very sudden very quick it's like abrupt realizations that hit you even maybe this reading might be a little realization that might spark a little plants a little seed in your mind and then it, it, you think about it maybe after this a little bit and you start to have some epiphanies and that's good right because this current energy this current mindset whatever it is that you're focusing on it's like you are setting yourself up for failure right if you if you put certain expectations on these opportunities that come in you're like well i would give it a chance but i know i'm just gonna get hurt i know i'm just gonna get disappointed i know that i'm not gonna stay in this environment for very like if it's a new job i know i'm just gonna quit there i know i'm not gonna work there forever so why should i even give it a chance uh 
for the experience fuck it like <laughs> for the for the, the experience you never know who you might meet through it like you never know unless you try so why be closed off to it in the first place like you know i don't know same with like love or whatever else these opportunities represent it's like you're putting these expectations you're projecting these ideas of what it could be or what it will be and that oh i'm not going to give it a chance because it's not going to work out i'm just going to get disappointed or it's going to be a waste of time but you don't actually know that you don't actually know that there there could be a gold mine on the other side of that door but you wouldn't know because you're like oh no i'm not going to walk through that door i don't even want to peek i don't even want to see because i already know i already know <sighs> like you don't you don't know everything <laughs> you may hate that i say that you don't know everything virgo and that's okay that's a good thing we're not supposed to know everything god it's like the more that you know the more you realize you don't know shit <laughs> like sir seriously for real um so I'm gonna leave your reading here, Virgo. I hope that this reading wasn't too harsh. I don't. I, I don't think it was. But if it did, if it did strike a nerve, if it triggered you, oh my god. Well, I hope that it helps in some sort of way so that you can get unstuck because you are stuck in the mud, and it's time that you get out. You pull yourself out of that mud. Stop being so stubborn. <laughs> stop. Get clear of what you want. And stop saying why you can't or stop making excuses all right because deep down you know you want it deep down you know you want it so why can't you have it oh well this this uh, shh, shut up <laughs> shut the fuck up. i'm just kidding i'm just kidding all right i'm in a funny mood you guys but hopefully this helps hopefully this gave you some insight let me know if it resonated in the comments below leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new here if you'd like to book a private reading with me the information for that's in the description down below if you want to follow me over on my instagram and tiktok you can find me there at jadestone tarot and i'm gonna let you go virgo thank you for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one take care